Team Ellsworth, every day we train to be the best bomber wing for our nation. We give 110% and invest ourselves so we can accomplish our mission of providing air power anytime, anywhere. To achieve our mission and remain lethal, we must innovate. On May 11th, I want to see the best and brightest at the 28th Bomb Wing's first ever Innovation Council. We need your ideas so we can defeat our adversaries who are modernizing faster than we are and have diminished our technological advantage. Your innovation ideas are part of a larger movement driven by our leadership. The Secretary of the Air Force, Heather Wilson, as well as General David Goldfein, our Chief of Staff, have said the way to secure our nation for the future is through innovation. Innovation is part of our Air Force heritage. Through every part of our history, innovation has kept our military on the cutting edge. For example, following the attack on Pearl Harbor during World War II, our country was exploring a way to strike back at our adversaries. This drove the Doolittle Raid, which defined our wing today. The genesis of the Doolittle Raid occurred when a Navy captain observed Army Air Corps bombers land on a runway in Norfolk, Virginia. This particular runway was used for aircraft carrier training, thus had the markings of a carrier runway over the field. It was the bomber's shadows falling across the Phantom Carrier that spurred the concept of using land-based Army Air Corps bombers to launch from an aircraft carrier to strike Japan. The whole story goes, the Navy consulted with General Hap Arnold, who knew there was only one man with the drive and methodical thinking abilities to work this concept, Lieutenant Colonel Jimmy Doolittle. Doolittle and the Navy worked the concept, overcoming significant bureaucratic hurdles, which required Hap Arnold's intervention to push the effort forward. They were given the resources and time necessary to put the plan into action. Doolittle was also given time to practice and train for the short takeoffs needed, which they did near Eglin Air Force Base, Florida, in the weeks leading up to the raid. On April 18, 1942, the Doolittle Raiders launched 16 B-25s from the USS Hornet, striking Japan. The strategic impacts were enormous. The Japanese were forced to shift resources back to homeland defense and would later take a substantial risk at the Battle of Midway that led to their eventual defeat. More broadly, our nation achieved a huge morale boost that was critically desired by President Roosevelt for the American people. This story teaches us four lessons. One, anyone can innovate, no matter the organization that you belong to. The Navy captain was a submariner. The raid was outside of his scope of expertise, but not his imagination. It's often someone outside of the organization, together with someone inside the organization, that create our best ideas. Two, we need to create an environment of creative thought. The idea for the raid came from watching bombers land on a runway with carrier markings. We need to build thinkers among our airmen by exposing them to new experiences and broadening their skill sets. We, in the 28th Bomb Wing, use professional development trips and cross-unit visits to develop these thinkers. Three, Commanders must give their airmen time to innovate. The Navy spent five days to develop the initial concept. Then Doolittle created a plan and had several weeks to practice the required takeoffs. Commanders must also give their airmen time to innovate. And four, commanders must lead the process and break down barriers of bureaucracy for their people. Commanders must lead this process. General Hap Arnold's oversight and top cover was key in moving this novel and seemingly unimaginable idea through the large bureaucracy. Commanders and leaders must boldly evaluate, mitigate, and take smart risks. Today, Secretary Wilson, General Goldfein, General Rand, General Boussier, and I are fully supportive of innovation because we want you to succeed. In fact, General Goldfein has given us $450,000 to fund our innovative ideas. 
Raiders, innovation defines the 28th Bomb Wing. We are the Doolittle Raiders and have a rich heritage of innovation. Your ideas will allow our Air Force to fly, fight, and win in current and future wars. Our Innovation Council is just the start. I eagerly look forward to reviewing your proposals. Thank you.